Hi everyone, Phil back once again for another Friday video um, and surprise surprise, not sneakers this time. I know we've had a bit of a run on sneaker videos but um, this is not sneakers, this is back to comics. <laughs> yeah, that opening thing is that sneakers, comics, toys, collectibles, it's been sneakers and comics so far. Promise there will be other toy and collectible stuff coming. Um, I haven't shot it yet, I don't know if it'll come out before this video or after this video, but I have got the new Lego Optus Prime to show off. I'm going to show the box, build it, show the figure it's finished sort of thing. I'm not going to do it. I used to do like speed videos, but this one's going to take a while, so I'm not going to do a speed video. But anyway, enough about that. Comics. We've got another big pile of slabs. Um, no surprise on the grades of these. I bought these at the grades. Right? It's not like a like, oh, what grade did I get? Because I think it's CGC. No, these are all bought, purchased as slab CGC uh, books. I'll take them out of the, uh, the plastic, though. So first up, we have Tales of G.I. Joe number one from January 1988. This is a 9.4. Try to hide some of the glare. Might not work. Might get lots more glare than I want. Kind of a, that's a bit right. Yeah, tells me G.I. Joe, tells of G.I. Joe. This is um, Marvel reprinting G.I. Joe 1 through whatever. Um, so this basically is his reprint of G.I. Joe number 1, which is this Tales of G.I. Joe, print in 88. Yeah, reprints G.I. Joe, Real American Hero number 1, which was a Marvel book, I do believe. So yeah, it's just a reprint. But it's an old reprint, not modern reprint. It's not like one of these modern reprints that aren't worth crap. Yeah, Tales of G.I. Joe number one. Um, not buying too many G.I. Joe books. The last one I bought was mainly to go in one of my displays. Um, I can't quite see where it's a Batman who laughs and a Lobo. But comics behind downstairs, I've got um, a Snake Eyes statue from the little six inch ones from PCS. So I bought a random book to go with that, but I thought, I like this fact. This cover's also awesome. Uh, and this will probably go with my uh, G.I. Joe Classified figures I'm collecting, because this I am collecting G.I. Joe Classifieds, which you will have seen if you ever follow me on Instagram, which is at Phil Wheat on Instagram. Um, I haven't done anything on this channel as yet, because obviously we're only a few weeks in. Anyway, stop waffling. Next book. This one I picked up literally because it's a horror title. And that is Night Force number one from August 1982. Marv Wolfen, Gene Colan. Um, but they're behind We Walk By Night, I think. I'm sure they were. This is a, like another supernatural horror book, if you can tell by the cover. Yeah, no idea. Never even heard of this book till. It popped up for sale, and it's just like, I really need that book just because the cover's awesome and it's a horror book. Uh, it's in an older slab, it's in the thin older slab, uh, 60 cents or tw UK 20 pence cover price. Yep, DC Night Force from August 1982. There's a bit of a mixing of DC and Marvel on there. There's no, there's no Dark Horse or anything like that. Next one's another DC title and another. The third older book from the 80s. This one's from 90, August 1984. And this is New Teen Titans, Volume 2, Number 1. Um, I previously got a Teen Titans... I think it's Teen, Teen Titans Starfire or something like that. Wife's a Starfire fan, so... Kind of bought a couple of books. Starfire. Plus, Marv Wolfman. George Brez. What's not to love about... It? Make it worse. <laughs> What's not to love about Teen Titans? Yeah. Um, fan of the two show. This is only an eight. This was, I'm not going to lie, this was like $16 or something like that. It was dirt, dirt cheap. Um, yeah, there's not, whoever, whoever slab this lost money, basically. Um, so yeah, that Teen Titans show. 
don't know who's not in the Teen Titan show. He's Cyborg, isn't it? He's not because he was in the movie rather than the TV show. Anyway, next lab, back to Marvel. Much more modern book. Um, I went a bit ham on the um, the releases of these. They had like it was like four or five covers every month, and I got like. I think at first I got Fisher One, I got like every cover, and then like other ones I got like two issues at a time. Usually, uh, the comic cover, and then the cover of like a screenshot on the show, and that is Rise of Ultraman. This is the uh, Alex Ross cover, Walmart edition, apparently. Uh, yeah, Walmart edition. Did not realise it was Walmart edition. Oh, interesting. So. But I'm sure we got that over here, that cover over here anyway. I'll have to check for books. Um, so yeah. Rise of Ultraman, massive Ultraman fan. Really glad he's back in comics. Really glad like Mill Creek's pointing out all the, the blues and stuff. Just wish that he wasn't so... I've, I've not got any of the blue rays from Mill Creek because it's just so damn expensive to import Mill Creek stuff. Um, yeah, because of especially customs and stuff. Anyway, Rise of Ultraman number one, 9.6 from... November 2020, can't believe that is already a year and a half old. It was Rise of Ultraman, Trials of Ultraman. Like I said, I went ham on all those, all those books. Getting multiple covers and stuff. Same with um, some of the DC, what's it called? The big of it, Death Metal. I did the same with that. Next up is uh, X23, Target X number one from February 2007. Nine eight, just felt like I needed an X twenty three in my collection. And while things like NYX number three and some of the other covers are ridiculously expensive, this one was again dirt cheap. I used to have this book. This is another book like NYX number three uh, that I used to have years ago. Had the full run of this. Um, it's like a mini series, wasn't it? Yeah. Again. One of the ones that got lost in the I'm selling it to a mate, can't be asked to shuffle boxes of comics around. <laughs> that was a big mistake. Um, but yeah, X23 had to have an X23 book back in the collection. Uh, Craig Carr, Chris Yost, I, I mean, that cover's amazing. Not quite the same as the statue I've got of X23, but that might get put with that statue. I'm not sure yet. Back to DC. And a slightly more modern DC. Well, it's slightly more modern. 2006, it's not that modern. Uh, this is Wonder Woman, number one, 9.8. Um, Cheetah, Dr. Cycle, Giganta, and Nemesis appearance. This is, it's got the Dodsons on art. And then it's got, it's the stories by Alan Heinberg, who um, did the OC. But he did the OC. And then he did um, Young Avengers, Wonder Woman. At the time, I was picking up anything Hamburg put his hands on because I was a big fan of the OC. So was my mate. Um, he was like, you know Hamburg is doing comics? I was like, what? Yeah. So Wonder Woman number one, absolutely love that cover, which is getting horribly, horribly glared out. I'm sorry about that. That's a bit better. Yeah, I love that cover. But the, the Dodsons, I love. I love the Dodsons. Oh, I absolutely do. Um, I've got three left. We'll, we'll go to this one. At the bottom of the stack. This is just. It's one of those ones you pick up because you like the character. You like the artwork. It's of an era that. Actually, this is the era before I read a Silver Surfer. This is 1987. Uh, Silver Surfer Volume 3, number 1, from July of 1987. Origin of the Silver Surfer Retold, Fantastic Four, Champion, Nova, and Galactus. Obviously, that's the Frankie Ray, Ray version of Nova. Mm -hmm. If you've watched the Fantastic Four movies, Frankie Ray is in the movie. Um, when they're rescuing the Silver Surfer, she's the, the guard that helps them. Yeah, that could have gone so well if they've ever stuck with it. Only a 9 point all, but I just i am a big fan. You can tell why it's 9 point all, is this... this, this yeah, if you look at the back, it's got like it's it for the the got all sorts of creases and stuff on the top of there. 
covers pretty much presents well. There's no, I wouldn't say there's anything really wrong with the cover. There's a bit of a crease there, but yeah, no point at all. Silver Surfer, yeah, again, that's a book I bought just because I'm a big, big, big Silver Surfer fan. Uh, I've got like issue 25, like a silver foil that's downstairs with a statue. Uh, last two, and we've got the one at the bottom. <clears throat> See, I lied. I said I only had Marvel and DC. I do have one independent book. I have Sheena, Queen of the Jungle from a Dynamite. This is the 2017 book. Um, I think I've got this as a, as a raw book. I'm sure I've got this, this run. I'm sure I do. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, 2017. J. Scott Campbell cover, again. Who doesn't love a J. Scott Campbell cover? Because that's awesome. 9.8. Oh, this is, oh, on the back is the, uh, the advert for the Batman Shadow thing that they did with Dynamite. That's cool. Yeah. You can't see it, but there's a big like, scuff. Right down the front of the case, which is not good. But hey, these are all for the PC. I'm not selling these. Either. Most of the stuff I buy in Nintendo slabs. They're so weird. No one's going to want to buy them anyway. <laughs> and nowhere is that more evident than in this last book. Which... I can't see anyone... There probably is. I, I probably think I'm just the only person, but... Toys wise, I know people collect them. I'm not sure about comics, but this is Toxic Crusaders number one, 9.4 from May 1992. This is um, a story by Simon Furman. Now, Simon Furman, if you're a Transformers fan, was a god in Transformers UK comics. He also did um, one of my favourite characters, the original Death Said. Um, he's just uh, did he got, he came back recently with uh, To the Death, which was a really good uh, series. I got uh, I think I'm still missing a couple of issues of those. But it's a really good series. Got the first, like, issue zero it was. Again, it puts up the landscape. You got actually signed by Simon Firm, which is really awesome. It was Simon Firm and Jeff Senior. I think is it? Might be. Might be getting that horribly wrong. But yeah, Toxic Crusade is number one. 9.4. Um, I've actually got in that cabinet uh, there. Yeah, that one. That's actually a bunch of Toxic Avenger, Toxic Crusader uh, figures, statues, and it's got the Marvel Toxic Avenger number one. It's only a seven. Um, but yeah, it's got that in there. I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze this in because it's got like the Super Seven and stuff in. It's quite packed. I might try and squeeze it in. But yeah, that's a mixture of Avenger and Crusaders. Hopefully the news that we are getting, the re-release from Playmates of the Toxic Crusaders, which I've heard, I heard about a while ago, not heard anything since, but hopefully that it does come to pass because I'll be buying all them. Like once to open, once on car. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's the last of my books. So I should be saying number one. Yeah, that's a. I think that slab lot is from the beginning of May. Yeah, I think they were, bought all those at the beginning of May. They didn't ship until last week. They weren't supposed to turn up till next week, but they've come early, so which is cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, don't know what's next on this channel. As always, we do a mix. It's whatever comes in. We shall see. <laughs> but I say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the usual gubbins. Thanks very much. Bye for now.